guys. Ah! Ah! What could possibly strike that much fear in a man? For those of you in the audience with sharp eyes, you may have seen something on that monkey's chest. What's up, Trout Gang? Four months ago, I posted a video announcing my game is coming to Quest. It's not on Quest. But that changes today. That's because the wait is finally over. I'm gonna show you all the new mechanics we added to Kong, and some of these are just crazy. <laughs> At the start of the round, the timer starts ticking as a few players spawn with a bomb. These players need to get rid of the bomb by tagging other players to give it to them. Come here! When the time runs down, whoever's left with the bomb explodes. No! No! This is Countdown, a game mode so dangerous it could never be in Guerrilla Tag. In my last gameplay video, we had grenades. Now, we got bombs. Some of you might be thinking, this is inhumane. Downright wrong. I think you're full of shit. I think you're full of shit. I think you need to shut your guy. Like the gentleman we are, instead of staying dead, we made it so that after you explode, you respawn as a ghost who could slow people down. And it was indeed more funny. Oh shit, Elliot's oh, dead as hell! Oh. Elliot, you dead, you dead, Elliot! Elliot, you oh, dead! No, Slow down, no, guys! No, Slow no, down! No, Get him! No, <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> it's funny, but we could do better. After heavily testing the game, we got a ton of feedback. It was hard to tell when you had the bomb, it was super annoying to try and swim through the map, and the game ran really badly on the quest. That's... That's that's a lot of issues, man. I'll, I got it though. It's okay. First thing we did was add a red glow around your eyes and a speed boost whenever you have the bomb. And this made Countdown feel so much better. To make the water more fun, we moved all the support beams off to the side to make it easier to swim around the map. Not only that, but Kong is the first game with hand-based locomotion to have dynamic water. This means players can interact with the water and their movements create ripples and waves in the water's surface. <laughs> that's so cool. But there's still one problem left, the frame rate. Right now, the average FPS in Kong is 63, which drops just down to 2, which is not good. Playing VR with below 60 FPS can lead to nausea, disorientation, and motion sickness. This is dangerous. Just like browsing the internet without this video's sponsor, NordVPN. Instead of me just telling you why a VPN is so important, I'm just gonna show you. This is Kiko. He's just browsing the internet normally, just surfing the web like any normal human would. But I'm a hacker. And I can see all the information. And I can move him up. Oh my god, the f <laughs> I can move him up. Oh, what the I can take his what data and I know I know what he's doing. What the well, you might be wondering, how can a hacker get access to all this data? Well, whenever you're on a public Wi-Fi network, you're streaming data from your computer straight to the internet, and it's not secure. What can a hacker do with this information? Well, they can do a lot of things. They can find out what websites you're on, they can see the emails you're sending, the pictures you're sending. <laughs> You get the point. A lot of bad stuff. Put me down, you damn hacker. Ah! 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 <laughs> but NordVPN encrypts that data and makes it so that hackers can't see anything that you're doing on the internet. They also have a ton of servers all across the world, which means you can watch shows that aren't actually streaming in your country. I was just watching Harry Potter because I connected to Australia. Right now, they're offering a huge discount on a two-year plan if you sign up with my link, nordvpn.com slash And if you change your mind, they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. <laughs> I know it looks funny, and in the moment it was, but this was the start of a seemingly never-ending problem. We spent countless hours trying to fix bugs and release the game on time, but it wasn't enough. We had to delay it again. People were understandably upset. We promised them it would come out today, but we let them down. I made the mistake of announcing a release date before the game was fully working, and for that, I'm sorry. Some of you guys just took that shit way too far. Damn, wait, who locked down general? Keep it going. Slow loads off. Oh my god. Hey, <laughs> you guys you guys are so silly. <laughs> That was really fun. After a little while, things finally calmed down. I got tons of positive messages cheering us on to finish the game, and to see this much support flood in right when things got rough made me realize just how lucky I am to have such an awesome community. But we got more work to do. So I got in a call with Kiko and we stayed up all night. And finally, after eight months of hard work, Kong was finished. Wait, what the? <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I would say, oh my. <laughs> what is he saying? Uh, Wait, I said, oh my monkey. goodness! Woo! Getting in the hole. He's getting in the hole. <laughs> <There's> some... <laughs> kill you. I kill you. <laughs> when when oh, new beta, man? When release? When official release? Oh, when side quest? Tackle. The true unseen heroes of Kong are Kiko and Duck. They've done most of the work while I've been handling the business end, so go subscribe to them. Their channels are in the description. Right now, you can get Kong on App Lab for free, but to make it free, we had to add cosmetics. So if you want to support the game, you can buy some. Or you can get the beta bundle, which will only be available for 30 days. Dude, it's 2 a.m. right now. I'm going the fuck to sleep. <laughs>